criminal here back to another mk1 video and this one i'm gonna be covering gears and oh boy it looks like in every game is gonna be in from now on and i hope he's is in more games because i love this character it looks like they're just gonna make him fucking broken in everyone this guy is 100 percent of five i would argue top three and honestly you could make an argument he's number one he is absolutely broken it truly really is insane so let me just let me just go over it right now Alright, let's start off this one. First of all, standing one. Seven points that are plus three. Just do this. It's guaranteed. This into this, you can do it. Now, it's down one, unlike MK11. It's not extremely broken, but it's still decent. Second hit is minus five. Final one is also a mid minus six. If you finish this string, it's exactly like a string in MK11. Wrestle one, and this happens. This hourglass move, the grab also counts towards this. It counts like a charge of this. You need three of these. I'll cover this later. When I get a special move. So let's move on. Uh, yes, this one. Fantastic string. Back one, two. First hit is minus four. Second is minus seven. Completely safe. And you can also cancel it into special. It's got good range. You can get from really far away. Like if you backdash, you can still get from this distance easily. And when you do get it, you can get some pretty good damage. Like even mid screen, if you get it, you can get some solid damage for sure. Now moving on, this is a very good string for combos, especially good in combos. Now we have this one, this chest bump right here. First hit is minus six. The summoning of the wall is minus eighteen. And you can press grab and it does this, really good damage. And the grab itself is only minus 5, so just finish with this, never finish with this because it's unsafe. Finish with this on block. And you're safe, completely safe. Alright, the poker already saw, we already saw, next up we have this one. Standing 2 is 9 frames and 0 on block. This overhead right here is safe, 21 frames. And he has this, shoulder tackle, minus 5. So everything here is safe, pretty much everything we've seen so far, except for the summoning of the wall, it's all safe. Next up, we have arguably the, his best string, amazing string, this one. 4 or 2 spell, first of all, great button. Only minus 3 moves forward significantly. It has this extension, extension, sorry. A 4 or 2, 4. It goes into this kick. Kick itself is also safe, and can go into this at the end. Now, the ending, I think it's unsafe. How much is it? Minus 14, yeah, it's unsafe. But it's special cancelable, so you cancel it into a safe special and you're okay, like... I mean, something like this. Oh, is it not special cancelable on block? Oh, it is. I don't remember if he has specials that are safe, but he has this command grab that I'll talk about later. Anyway, just don't do the final hit uh, when you hit them. This is a very good string for combos in the corner and in mid screen. Arguably his best starter. You can go in from this into this. As you can see, there is extremely good damage. Extremely good damage, not even decent, insane damage. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, moving on. That is uppercut. As it's used in the time in the time stop, just your standard uppercut, really. Nothing too crazy here. Next up, he has this, this forward, forward three. Oh no, he has standing three first, this kick. It's special cancelable. So in the corner it can be used for combos. If you want to use it for combos. Overall mid screen, uh, how's the frame that are looking? Let's see. Minus 3 with this amount of pushback. Yeah, it's fantastic on block. I mean, you can just go into stuff like this. You can go to whatever you want, really. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, next up we have a standing 3. This overhead, unsafe on block, really unsafe, but 
has a good amount of pushback. Minus 25 though. So if you use it, you wanna throw a cameo into people's head state. There, now I'm safe if they try to attack me. I picked Striker for a reason, I'll show you later. A bit glitchy, but still, I think it's worth, it's worth the pick. Now, next up we have this one. This poke. Minus 8, decent range, not bad at all. This poke as well, down 4. Good range. Only minus 6, so completely safe. Uh, next up, what's left? We have only this too. He has his... His sweep, really good sweep. Good range. And he has his forward 4-4. Four, four. First kick is safe. But the extension is not, because it's a launcher. If you hit it, you can you launch them for a full combo. My and I forgot to cover the standing four. On hit, really good for combos. Really good, one of his main combo tools in the corner, like this. And on block. It's also pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's plus two, so yeah, fantastic button all around. So yeah, that's it for the regular ground normals. Next up we have the air combos and he has multiple. He has multi he has four grabs in the air, just uh, the rustling type grabs. First of all, he has his body splash back, down triangle just like in MK11. Stupidly good jumping attack. Yeah, body splash is back, everybody hates it, so... Next up we have this one. One, two, grab in the air. We have this one. One, two, back grab in the air. Does more damage than the choke slam, this pile driver. And we have this one. Two, one, grab. This knee in the air. Can be used for combos, actually. Because it keeps them on the air. Let me see if I can get something here. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, wait. And he has this. That's when you hold back. I'm gonna have to time it better. I mean, it's possible for sure. I don't know if it's with Striker possible, but. With someone like Jax, I'm certain it's possible with a ground pound. <laughs> it can interrupt you. Let's see again. I mean, it's probably possible. Not very practical, though. These grabs are really cool. I really wish they had more of a use, honestly. They don't have that much use. Of course, we have his back throw. Looks really cool, so I might as well show it. Really cool back throw. Now moving on to the specials, and he's got uh, a platter of these motherfuckers. So yeah, let's move on. He has this, the time stop. If done on the ground, it does this really cool animation, only when the enemy is on the ground though. And you can hold back, and you land in front instead of switching sides. If they're in the air, you get this... Um, you get this people's elbow instead. But if they're on the ground, you get this cool animation. This punch that is fucking smooth. I don't know if you can combo after this. Uh, let me just see. I don't think you can. I mean, uh, and of course, the amplified <laughs> world stop. Zawardo. Yes, this. Amplify this. You get the MK11. Really, really good for combos. Of course, you'd expect it. Like. So yeah, this move is a staple for Gearas, of course. He has these two, two command grab, both do 12%, which is pretty good. They have some decent range, honestly. Like, they get to, they get you from this range, around here. If you do them from mid-screen, nothing really special, too special happens, like... You can choose, down back, pushes them away from, takes them away. Down forward, takes them to the corner and away from the corner. Now, if you're in the corner, the back throw becomes really good. Because it does like, increase damage when you throw them out of the corner. So they land in this wall right here. That's 19. That's really good damage. Like ending a combo with this, you can get some really good damage.
Yeah, that, that is a lot of damage. That's 40, that's almost 42 percent for one bar. That's insane. Giras doesn't really need to spend a lot of bar, and he doesn't really have multiple ways to spend bar in combos. He has only the time stop, really. Like other ways of bar spend are not really that useful. Next up, we have this one, Ridu. Really good move. Kind of like Crystal in Tremor from MKX, but worse. He implements this anchor over here, and if he gets hit while the is like all sandy, he just ignores the hit and returns to where he began. So if I put Giras on just doing this, and I, I and I, sorry, that spoiler, not that. This, I can just walk at him like this, and if I get hit at any point, I ignore the damage and go back to where I came from. So let me just put myself on normal HP. I can just walk at him. Oh no, I do take the damage? Yeah, you take the damage, but you return, you can escape, like... That is not good in this situation, but the situation is where it is good is when something like this happens. Like, you activate this, and the enemy attacks you. That's when it's good. Like in this situation. Because it lasts for quite a long time. So yeah, this move, something you want to set up if you roll low on HP and you don't want to get caught in a combo, because you, you just respawn. And then you can block again or just avoid the combo altogether. Now, the amplifier version is very, very cool. You do this, it stops time, and you get a Sandy Gears. Now, the way this move works, while time is stopped, you need to input the moves you want the Gears to do. You can do separate buttons as much as you like, I'm pretty sure, but strings, you can only do one string per this, so... If I mash 2-1-2-1-2-1-2-1-2-1, which is a string, it do this, just the string, one string and it go away, because there is no time. But I can also do triangle and then double forward four, so I can get this string. Now, problem is, you can't do more than one string, like if you try, you just fail. Oh, you can. Damn, it just depends on the screen there. You can also get the hourglass charge string with this, if you want to, but I don't think you have the time. Yeah, main use for that could be to set up lows and overheads for mix-ups. Like, that's why I pick Striker. You can take this, go into this. That's an overhead and a low. If the bot can block it because it's a bot, but mo normal people 99% of the time can't block this. And if you time it correctly, they will hit at the exact same time, so it's just unblockable. So yeah, you can spend two bars, but you can get pretty much a guaranteed reset. And I like Havoc's reset. This one gives you combos. Let me just uh, remove auto, because the bot can block this. Normal people can't, uh, most of the time. If you time it correctly, of course. Oh, sorry, I fucked up. Uh... As you can see, you can get some really good damage out of this thing. It's a fantastic mix-up tool. You can also use it for combos to get some really cool stuff, but it's, I, I haven't found a way to use it, um, like utilize it well in combos yet. If I will, I will uh, upload clips of this, of course, but you can use it after this thing for combos. Uh, yeah, so you can do stuff like this just for style, I mean. You can do double of this string if you want to, like just for, just for the fun. Yeah, it's a good way to add damage to combos, really, but uh, you have to know how to use it. It's a very tough tool to use. Like, in terms of how difficult it is, I think it's the hardest thing to learn how to use in this game. It's harder than Keshi, Center stands for sure. It is much harder for sure, because you have the time limit. You have to input things really, really fast. Next up, we have Countdown. You can do it three times. After three times, if you have three charges full, you win the game. They can't do anything. If they try throwing any projectile at you whatsoever or doing anything really, like I, I'll make Gira do the clock deal itself. Now we have this one. If he charges it, I do this. If you aren't blocking, you get caught. Full combo. You have to be blocking. If you aren't blocking when I do this move, you get hit. The amplifier version of the charge gives you all three. You need three of these charges to to 
do this move. It also has an amplified version. This one. What this move does, it rewinds the clock three seconds back. It rewinds the game. So what uh, so what happens here is if I get hit, like let's say I have the other Giras combo me for a second, like I just control him. He did whatever bullshit he'd like. The moment I wake up I can do this. Not this, sorry, this. I can go back three seconds there, I have three, three seconds. When does this get really really good? First of all when you're low in HP of course, but when you get hit with moves they do a lot of damage. Like, if I have the other Giras, uh, let's say, what is his most damaging move? Let's, let's uh, get hit by an uppercut. Like, he hit me with an uppercut. What am I gonna do? I lost 14% on my HP. Damn it. I do this. HP regenerated. Depending on what hits you in the 3 second time span, you can heal a lot of HP. Fatal blows don't stop time. Never mind then. You can't regenerate Fatal blows. If you could, it would have been a bit too broken. Now, another really stupid thing about this. The time freezes don't clash, so I can do this. Not this, sorry. I can do this. Yeah, you can do two time freezes in the same combo, and the damage can get absolutely stupid. Like, if you do it well. I am not very good with Giras yet, because he really is a complex character. You have to time it when they remove, when they leave the other time freeze, so... Let me just try it again. There we go. So yeah, you can get stupid damage. I'm dropping this right now, but you can get insane damage, I mean. I'll move on and then I'll try some stuff. If I get it, of course, I will post everything I do get, so you can see it. Uh, next up, after countdown, this is a... What is this? Oh, yes. Uh, this is the move uh, where he regenerates HP. You can also do it in the, air, in the air, by the way. Here, let me just re read what it says to you. Can be it can only be done with three charges of countdown, which is the hourglasses. So if you get three of them, you can do this. Giras resets back to where he were, to where he was three seconds ago with his previous health, with his previous health value. So you just go back three seconds in time, including all of the HP you had back then. If you lost HP in the three second time, so depending on situation, this is very useful. But I will save the clocks and just have this move, because when you have the this time freeze, they can't do anything. Literally, they just can't do anything. Like, you can't move, you can't do anything, anything in there at all. Like, if they try, they just get hit. Regardless of what he tries. Like, if I have some on Cyrax... No, you just can't. So yeah, as you could expect, this is horrifyingly broken. <laughs> This is easily the most overpowered ability in the game, in my opinion. Except for maybe center stance when you're when you're attacking the enemy. This is absolutely broken, completely and utterly broken. This is unbelievable, stupid, stupid move, really stupid. But of course, you need to charge it first. But when you do have it, you can just save it, and they can't attack you. They literally can't. So yeah, let's move on. Yes, this one denial. Normally. The amplifier version has armor, but this move is very good because it hits the entire uh, screen in front of Giras. Like, what I mean is, if they jump at me... You can just say no. And regardless of that, it's also a fantastic combo tool. Fantastic combo tool. In the corner especially, you can loop this easily multiple times, like... Yeah, this is a very, very good move. Extremely good move, this central. The only version does more damage and has armor, but... Except for using it on armor wake-up, you don't want to use it too much. It's actually fairly safe for an armor wake-up, I mean, it's not safe, of course, it's punishable, but it's only minus 20. Some are much worse. Uh, next up, we have this, Sandstorm. This one. You, can, you have a close 
mid and far version. This move works in a way that the center of the sandstone depends where they go flying, so... If they are right at the center, they will fly up. If they are behind the center, they will fly towards me. And if they are in front of it, they will fly forward, so... This string is very good to start combos. Because you can make them fly towards you. Now, this also has an amplified version. This clock. When the time runs out, it has this. How much is it on block exactly? I don't remember, honestly. Let me just check for a second. Oh, plus 108. Extremely safe, or extremely plus on block, sorry. So you can set it up in the, in the end of combos if you want to just guarantee the wake up. Like, not that your enemy... But again, it's an expensive option because you... So this move can have its uses. Again, I need a lot more with Giras. I haven't loved with him that much yet. He is an extremely overpowered character, so it takes time to learn all of the stuff he can do. This move, right here, the Amplified Hourglass, it counts as one, as one charge of this. So... So yeah, let's just, let me just finish it like with a cool combo, I suppose, in the corner. There we go. Now, just want to say the last thing I want to do after this combo. The thing I wanted to show you is just with Striker specifically. I feel like the best cameo for Geras is either Striker because he has this restand. Or it's Cyrax, because Giras is the only character in this game who can actually combo into Cy Cyrax's net. So if I just switch for a second to player 2 as Cyrax. The good thing about this, I can do this, go into Cyrax. And charge this shit. I can char get 2 charges of this. Easily. So yeah, that is, in my opinion, the ideal choice for Giras. Not to mention Cyrax also has this. Swords, of course. So this is also useful for combos. For Gira specifically, not for combos, but for, for pressure, of course, it's always useful. Like, the souls are very plus on block and do a lot of chip, so that's always useful. But the reason I pick Striker is because of the handcuff. You can finish a combo with this. No, recently the I was extremely slow there, you need to be faster. You can finish the combo with this, go into this thing. And if you do it correctly, you can get reset easily. And the damage can get absolutely stupid. So hey guys, this is Gears, extremely overpowered like always, we love him, we know him, he's always the same, absolutely stupid, he's eternally busted you could say, <laughs> so yeah that's Gears, he is still insanely powerful, like in the end, in the start of MK11 he was the best character in the game, in the start of this one he's top 5, arguably number 1, so yeah he is absolutely stupid. He also has, and just important to mention for me at least, he also has, in my opinion, the best or the second best fatality in this game. Along with the black hole of Liu Kang's stupidly good fatality, amazing fatality. So yeah, that's gear, so I'm gonna wrap this one up here. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you find this information valuable. If I find some cool tech with this move, I promise I'll let you know. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.